back on again. I don't know what number of video this is, but we are on the second battery. Just seen the pony and foal back there. They're gently moving along the track. They're probably just about coming into view again now as they come up through that gap. Um, where is it? There, look. See? The pony's coming. Is that the foal? That looks like the foal. And it was it gone? It's there somewhere. It's over there somewhere. That's gone into the bushes again. Oh, and the mother's coming as well. They're both coming, they're both following me. Gone into the shade. Moved quite a lot actually. Should be up by me in a minute. So walk quicker than I do. The bubbling brook again. Beautiful, this it. At least I've got the videos. I know the time will come. I don't know when, or maybe I'll still be walking here in 20 years. I don't know. I'll be 92 then. What's the chance of that, you reckon? These old trees have seen me since I was a child. Have they? Yeah. They've seen me since I was a child. These old ones. I'm glad I didn't hold for today. It wasn't too busy. And um, and it's always a good, good for the photos when it's blue sky and green. You know? No, they're not catching me up now. They've got lots to eat. They look healthy. Healthy foal. She'll take it back to the main herd, I expect, once it's a little bit more strong on its feet. <sighs> yeah. This log we're coming up to now, me, Georgia and I have stopped here. We've stopped here, me and Georgia, and um, in the past, because when we lived at Barrow, I, I still used to come out here, and Georgia came with me several times. I introduced her to her, she wanted to come. I've been up here, actually, when Jodie was 18, her, Georgia, Zara, the corn had just been born, it was 96, and we came up here, and we were all happy together, it was lovely, happy, talking, chatting together, like, real family, how life changes people, yeah. That was 96. That was um, 10 years before I had to sell the family home. And yeah. Just see if it'll work one more time, Shell, before you put the battery on it. So that's quite a good picture, isn't it? And there. Now give it a rest. And we'll put the back put the battery charger on it while it's having a rest. Right, turn off a minute. Turn off. Right, we really are getting to the stage now where we say goodbye to Holford. 
We're entering Shepherd's Coombe now. We're li li leaving Hodder's Coombe. Over the hill will be Slaughterhouse Coombe. And then further up over there, obviously, we've got those um, other hills that we were on earlier. And we're, as once we get around this corner and start heading up, um, and we'll be out in the air more. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah, we'll be out out in the sun. It'll be right on us, and we just have to rest whenever there's a bush comes along in a minute. And don't forget, this isn't summer. This isn't like. July or June heat wave. This is just May, but it's still quite warm. My arms are getting some vitamin D. And of course, up there, if we looked down here earlier. I think that's what they call Ladies' Edge up there. And uh, I'm just videoing it, but you never know. You never know. What do you mean by that, Sheila? I mean, how do I know if when I'm coming up again? Put it that way. Well, hopefully, a couple more times this year ago. Yeah, hopefully. On the earlier bus, so I can do other parts like Smith's Coombe and Old Fox and House. I'm not too worried about missing Old Fox and House. I can't imagine them have done a lot since last year. I've got some really good footage of that place anyway. The hard bit is coming up. That's uphill and out in the sun. It took itself. <laughs> That's uphill. And out in the sun. <sighs> Once we get to Bitmuller Post, which is a junction point for lots of walks and a meeting place. And it's all it's all downhill. Okay? It's all downhill. We won't check the time until we're at Bit Nuller. Then we decide which way down we're going. If there's time we we'll do Bit Nuller Coombe. If there ain't time we'll have to go down another way. Oh, I'm just making the most of this gorgeous tree. <sighs> Lovely oak. <sighs> While I and can just get my breath back a bit because we're now gonna there are bushes and trees but not anything like what we've just been used to with lots and lots of shade and coolness. We're now going to enter different type of experience so basically that's what we're doing and there's the hills up there we have got to climb up as well we have got a hill to do in a minute we'll start climbing up so not right up we'll be climbing in and and round in the comb, but we still got to go up. If you see what I mean. If Cosette doesn't play up too much, I might let it do one video at the end. Might you? Yeah, I might do. But it's been already played up once, so the possibility of it playing up more. Is real. I'm giving it a bit of a rest at the moment to let it charge a bit. 
because the battery charger will give it a really good boost and it can sometimes come off that charger and, and do some more for us now this is it we leave here now and we enter Hot Valley <laughs> it's actually Shepherd's Coombe I've got my hat on like I said there are little bits of shade which you must make the most of for example it's only a little bit of shade but it will shade you from that sun that's right above you at the peak of the day three o'clock or up past three even it will protect you from like if you stop here now see we don't know where the next bit of shade is it could be further around but for one minute we've got a little bit of shade and the sound of the babbling brook right what I'm going to do now I'm going to turn off until we get further up I'm going to turn off unless I see the deer okay and then we'll I'll go on again just before Bicknoller Post over in